Hey, Susanna, how are you? Oh, Miss Cook's here too. Hey, Sita, how are you doing? I see Ken's joined us. And then um, y'all doing all right? And then Martha, how are you? All right, I got you on mute. All right, and, and, I'm, and I'm sorry. Uh, uh, let me just start off by apologizing to y'all um, today because we had accountability this morning. Um, and when... Um, when I spoke with um, with uh, Ishe and Aretta about it, I just told them that that was more important than um, my monthly Zoom, um, and that I would just push my Zoom uh, around lunchtime. So we're certainly not getting the typical numbers that we get with people come in to um, participate. But I, I do think it's the time of day, um, and uh, it is you know Friday at lunchtime. So um, you know people might already start checking out for the weekend. Um, so I just want to say that, um, uh, like I said, we had accountability, uh, this morning. Um, of course, all of that is, uh, basically the discussions in executive sessions. So it's not really privy to the public. Um, but we, um, we did meet for, um, well over two hours this morning, um, to work on, uh, to work on what we do, the accountability, uh, with respect to the superintendent and, um, and the school system. Um, yesterday, we had a great day. Um, we had um, GSBA, which is the Georgia School Board Association, come out and give us a training uh, with respect to a uh, superintendent's evaluation um, and how we are, how we're kind of at a, at a very high level, um, how to approach that work um, and, uh, and to be thoughtful of course, uh, with respect to uh, the different ways that we are evaluating uh, the performance. And then in the afternoon, we had um, Dr. Marks from Morehouse College come and he, he did a um, uh, 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 bias training with us. So implicit bias, um, explicit bias. Uh, it was really um, a very good session. Um, just opening up our minds about um, not just how we think as individuals, but the the perception from other people's perspective and understanding relationships and understanding differences and how um, and how we need to appreciate those things. I um, mean, we, we had all kinds of little quizzes we had to take, um, and it was really it was really very thought provoking. Um, and I thought it was a very, very good session. Um, I um, also attended first thing in the morning, my last Invest Atlanta um, position. I've been serving on Invest Atlanta for five years in the role for APS because we have a seat at the table. Um, and uh, Jennifer McDonald will be replacing me for the next term. So um, a little bit of change there, but it, it's I, Invest Atlanta really does some great work in the city. Um, I really enjoyed my time on the board, um, and I'm glad that we had the opportunity, or that we definitely have the opportunity to be at the table and uh, understand how the school system and the city um, need to work together to um, uh, move work forward, basically. Um, so that you know, it goes towards talking about affordable housing. It goes towards talking about workforce. Um, for our kids, it goes to talking about um, where to make uh, different investments uh, so that we can um, help better grow the city. Um, some, what else can I tell y'all? Some good news. Um, we put uh, eight properties on a surplus list. Uh, and so now the facilities uh, department is working through how they're going to uh, get uh, uh, request for for the use of the properties, and basically the the kind of the key takeaway is is it, can we do some more affordable housing with the properties that we have, uh, or that we've listed on the eight? So um, a lot of work going on there. Um, what else can I share with you? A milestones testing and end of course uh, testing is coming up. It's we're wrapping up the school year. We've got like about five or six weeks left. Um, please let me uh, if, 
tell your friends if anybody needs extra graduation tickets that they can always contact uh, board members and get a few extra. I think most high schools are pretty generous. Um, typically in the past at Midtown, um, families have gotten anywhere between eight to nine to 10 tickets. Um, but if you ever think that you need more, there's plenty of seating at the at the Coliseum at Georgia Tech. OK, so um, and, you know, it's easy to get you a few extra tickets um, for the different events. Um, yeah, like I said, we're wrapping it up. Um, I would love to hear any feedback that y'all have or any questions that y'all have um, uh, about what's going on. Um, in District 3. I did have the opportunity, I don't know if I have anybody on from um, from Tumor, but I was over at Tumor this morning. They had a partnership um, event, and I have to say they're doing some really great work. They've really got some good partners. It was I was really impressed with the uh, amount of people that turned out. Um, Ms. Brown, who's the principal there, has really done a good job of of uh, working with the community and bringing them on board to support the school. So I was really excited to have a few minutes to spend with them this morning. Um, any questions? Yes, Susanna. Hey. Um, Hi. So, uh, I was at Howard this morning for a bunch of PTO stuff and yeah. I came up and I just don't know if we have a policy for this. So all of the filming that is happening, I know when I was at Hope Hill, there was a recurring series that was in the neighborhood and the parents got together and told the people that if they were going to keep filming there, they wanted them to make a donation to Hope Hill. And the the, the, the TV show did. Um, that just came out of the parents. Um, we were just informed of one that's in the neighborhood. And the only times we really kind of get it and know at Howard is if it's on, somebody sees it on one of the old fourth ward pages. Um, is there a way or some communication to, this is two parts. I, I think yes. we need a little bit more, we need to get a little bit more information into the schools because it's actually shutting down a street that is right there by us, which will affect transportation and all this kind of stuff. Sure. So like, and that's probably on the city end, but do we have any way that we are trying to leverage some of these companies who come and throw money at all of the neighbors? I mean, I know Morningside just made a bunch of money um, for their new their facility, but just in the neighborhood, like the, a connection with the PTO, like, I mean, you know, this seems like they want, they throw money at everybody when they're filming because they want the space. Right. Um, I feel like we should be able to leverage this a little bit more school-based wise. And I just didn't know if that's anything we've actually talked about um, at a large level since it does affect the whole city. Um, but right. it just it just came up this morning trying to figure out a way for us to get communication more between the city or when they're getting their permits. Um, right. Because it really affect a lot of things. Um, okay, that's really good because um, I, I do know this much. I do know that, you know, when they filmed both Spider-Man movies, they used Midtown and they used Douglas. Um, and, and they actually rented the school facilities. And so that went through facilities, right? And the, and the district got money for that. I don't know how much, but the, the district got the money. I, I don't necessarily know if any, anything went specifically to each school. Yeah. Um, but it went into the facilities budget, I would assume. Um, but this is a really good point um, because, um, yes, Howard takes up that whole block. And, um, yeah, and y'all already have, like, a ton of buses. Um, and a lot of kids bike and walk, and, you know, we need to make sure that it's safe. Um, what I'll do, in, if you just don't, if you don't mind, Susanna, I will definitely follow up. Um, I'll talk with Katie, especially since she works for the city. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll talk to Katie, I'll talk really to Katie just... offline. And then um, I'll also, I'll also uh, reach out to Amir and um, see how he can help. Okay. Um, and it's just, I mean, and obviously we're not the only people that have had filming. I mean, like Morningside has been having tons of filming, both at locations and men and, and Morningside. Um, it's just, you know, a process, right? A, a, like right. a, like in a right. in school dudes, everybody's supposed to know things, right? Right. But in city, it doesn't go through facilities, so it needs to, you know. Yes, I know. Just communicates. Yeah. 
Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. No problem at all. I really appreciate you bringing this, um, bringing this up because it, it is going to happen more and more throughout the city. Um, uh, so yes, we can take a look at that and see what we can do to have the city and the school district work better uh, together. Um, okay, Raynard, I see your hands up. How are you? Raynard? Yes. Okay, Good got you. Okay, afternoon. I just wanted to make sure. Okay, how are you? Good afternoon, board member Olympiadas. Yes, good Mr. afternoon. Mr. Glass. Mr. Glass. Yes, sir. Is Mr. Gaither on the call? Uh, not at the moment, but he is in the office. Is it something I can help you with? Are you aware of the email I sent in regards to the broken link for ethics, complaints, and procedures? No, did you you sent you you sent me the you sent an email yeah. to me? I sent an email two days ago asking for the correct link for, on the ethics commission side of your website that has the forms procedures for ethics complaints. I asked Mr. Gaither and I CC'd, I believe, your internal auditor as well as uh, your board chair, board member Collins. Not me. I did not CC you because oh, you okay. have a direct report to Mr. Gaither. Oh, okay, okay. I know I, you was asking me was I aware about your email. I, I was just trying to see did you send me something, but I, uh, he, I would need to get with Mr. Gaither and see if he could follow up on that. Yeah, and um, I spoke with him about this too, uh, Keith, uh, when Reynard and I spoke um, a few days back. Well, the subject matter you and I spoke about, Ms. Olympianidis, was not the subject matter regarding the broken link for the ethics commission, uh, ethics complaint. Hey, Reynard, this is Pierre. I did get that email. Um, we were in a retreat all yesterday, but we are looking into it. And so we'll follow up as it relates to that. Do you have the PDFs? So, although the link is broken, do you have the PDFs that you can forward to me? We will respond accordingly. I just have to be able to get to it, uh, but hopefully we'll be able to get to you sooner than later. What's the time frame you were looking for returning my email? Uh, we, we normally ask for three business days as it relates to it, but hopefully we get to it, get, get it to you sooner. I just don't want to make a promise right now when we're in the midst of a host of other things right now. This is not an open record. Accordingly. This was not an open records request. I didn't say that it was. <laughs> okay. Well, your ethics commission, are you aware of the link being broken for ethics complaints? Uh, when you brought it to our attention, that's what I said. We're looking into it, um, just trying to figure out what, what happened to it because it did not be broken. But yes, you brought it to our attention in the email that I saw on yesterday. Okay. Here, here, Here's my ask. Before, I don't think I should have to wait for you all to fix the link. You should have the PDF associated with the information somewhere on your files. Just send me the PDFs. You don't have to, I, I'm not asking right now for you for you to wait for you to fix the link. I, I didn't say that. I didn't, you asked me about the PDF and I told you we'll try to see if we can get that to you as soon as possible. We just had some other stuff. We're not trying to hold information from you. I just had to have time to get it to you. So again, you asked me a time frame. My time frame is as soon as possible, no later than three days. Uh, that's all I'm saying, uh, Mr. Johnson. So not trying to hold it up and not to say that you won't have it today. We're just in the process of doing other things right now um, that the whole team is uh, away on. But again, if we can get that to you today, you'll receive it today. I just didn't want to make a promise to you um, that it, that wouldn't come to fruition. And so that's the only reason why I was saying it. Though. You said okay, so while we were in an all day board retreat on yesterday. So my three day time limit will end on what, Monday? Three business days? Yes. Roger, copy. Thank you. Also, one other question. Yes, of course. One other, but Mr. Mr. Gaither. Yes, sir. You aware of my other open records requests? I am. Okay, it's a series of them, correct? Um, I'm only aware of two at this particular point. You have a total of six in the queue. I'm only aware of two at this particular point. Okay, the first one was sent more than three days ago, so your three days are up for the first one. I'm only aware of two at this particular point. I understand. The first one was sent three, more than three days ago, so your three days are up for that one. 
And so you should probably have a response from the open records department in regards to that, Mr. Johnson. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. Um, anybody else have their hands up? Is there something else I can cover for y'all? I'm happy to discuss um, you know, where we are, what we're doing, whatever, whatever, whatever y'all think you need. Um, like I said, we're just kind of winding up the rest of the year. And I think that's kind of been everyone's focus is to try to figure out how to, you know, get ready for graduation, you know, got prom this weekend. I mean, it's just a lot going on, a lot of festivities. There's the parade tomorrow, if y'all are free. There's going to be the parade down at, um, down, um, at Carver. Um, at least that's where it'll start. Pierre, you correct me where, where I'm wrong. Um, uh, and uh, it should be it should be a fun time. Um, unfortunately, uh, uh, I will not be able to attend. I've got a basketball, baseball, prom, and some other things. But uh, it does sound like it's going to be a really nice uh, event uh, that the district is putting on. So hopefully, and this is in celebration of our 150 year anniversary of the district. So hopefully, um, y'all can make plans to attend and uh, and have a little bit of fun. Um, I don't see anyone's hand up. I see that um, Dion's posted some things um, on in the in the meeting chat. So please check that out. Um, is there somebody in the waiting room? I don't know where Keith went. We we I've, I've added them to who was in the waiting room. I've added them to the waiting room. And I think Dion was posting, and I appreciate that, Dion, the ethics and compliance. Uh, Mr. Johnson is asking for another link, um, that which is actually broken on our website. So I'll get that. But I appreciate you, Dion, for sharing that information. Yeah. Um, Bernard, did I see your hand go back up? Yes, his hand did go up, and it just disappeared. Okay. All right. Well, I just want to make sure everyone has the opportunity to... Um, uh, share any information or ask any questions um, uh, about the district. Who is paying, Michelle, this is Meredith Bass. Hey, who Meredith. is paying, hey, um, who is paying for this parade that's happening tomorrow? Where is the money coming from? Um, I, I assume it comes from the general fund. That's incorrect, uh, Michelle. Um, it's going to be, it's actually uh, coming through the foundation, but it's sponsored by Amazon. So it's coming through our foundation. Right. So the farm is sponsored by Amazon. Okay. Thank you. I don't think I, I don't think I knew that. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Okay. Uh, yes, Dion. Um, was that donation specifically for the parade? Was that Amazon's intent? I'm sorry, I'm nodding my head. Yes, Dion, but yes. Uh, we 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 had a goal to raise funds in regards for the celebration. Um, and so Amazon came on as a sponsor for specific for that event. Okay, so you guys solicited sponsors for the parade, and these are, I'm sure there will be a list of sponsors and the amounts that they donated for the parade? Uh, it should be, and that's managed by partnership. So I I'll, I'll can check with Joy Hunter to figure out where that information will reside. Yeah, I think being proactive, um, given the last event, just, you know, usually with fundraisers or events like this, you acknowledge your people who donated and at what level. I think that's great to do. Maybe given what we learned for the last event, it might be good to be proactive in that. Don't note it. Thanks. I say, Pierre, what are, would partnerships put that on their page? Uh, it actually, it may, it, may, it may end up coming on our, um, it may, it may be present, and I'll ask Joy. I don't want to speak for her, but of course, uh, it may be presented on our 150th page. Um, so okay. we have folks who are um, donating to that, but um, again, that's managed through that side. Um, right. But I'll, I'll double check with her. But I do know that we are planning to list partners. Um, I don't know specifically to the amounts, um, but I'll ask. I'll ask about that. But we are planning to list partners on on the website um, who 
have and will because we're still soliciting sponsors for other events um but um who will be a part of the celebration okay well um keep me in the loop about where it goes and to be quite honest with you it almost sounds like maybe it should go in both spots like if you're a 150th anniversary um, sponsor you go on that page but that's still a partnership and so it could be listed in partnership too if that makes sense correct i just i think dion's question was more so not just the sponsor but the amount as well yeah. i just yeah. need to figure out how she's planning to do that but i want to make sure that i say that out loud to just make sure she understands uh, that she knows that i understand her question so i'll ask that okay for. okay and let me I'll, I'll note that too that we're looking for the amount given okay i've got it um all right, Akeem, hey, how are you? Happy Friday. I see your hands up. Yes. Hey, happy Friday. Happy Earth Day. Um, my question is, um, is APS contributing any money to this parade or all the money coming from um, the foundation and sponsorships? Again, I, we're gonna, I'll have to follow up with you. I've got you down. Meredith. Thank you guys. No worries. Thank you. Uh, Akeem, Meredith, and Dion. Okay. Uh, I've got I've got y'all down on this and we'll we'll um I'll let Pierre reach out to um Joy and see what we can do to get some clarification on uh what's going on with the funds. Okay, and then my follow-up or my other question would be um is same same as before. Are you um, satisfied with the way the district is being run by Dr. Herring and her regime? Um, I think most everybody knows that um, I support my community and the majority of my community um, has given me plenty of feedback with respect to uh, the perspective of where they, uh, where they see Dr. Herring's leadership. And um, I fully support my community when, when I get that kind of feedback. I have not, um, I have not received uh, many folks calling me up um, in, in, in favor of, of, of keeping Dr. Herring. Um, and so um, if that's how folks feel, I, I, I wish that they would pick up the phone uh, or text or email or call. Um, the majority of the feedback that I've gotten over the past year has been, um, has been uh, not positive. Thank you. Um, did you have another question, Akeem? Because your hand's still up. I just want to make sure. No, I didn't. Okay. All right. Um, thank you for joining us. All right. Who else has any questions? Okay. Um, uh, oh, there is, uh, Mr. Johnson, did you have something that you wanted to say? I did, yeah, and I, I apologize for cutting in. I didn't no, see any hand raised, so I did so. Yeah, no, no problem at all. Please go ahead, and then we'll follow back up with Reynard and Dion. Okay, my question perhaps can best be answered by uh, uh, Mr. Gaither. And my question is, why during the board's uh, retreat yesterday was that part of it that was about the uh, implicit bias training not live streamed. What was the reason for not live streaming it? And I'm sorry, Mr. Johnson, I was having trouble coming off mute. Uh, but Board Chair Collins did make an announcement at the beginning of that session that due to the level of sensitivity around what was being discussed, um, that it would not be live streamed um, um, for that purpose. It was still open to the public for those who were there in person. And we did have members of the public present for that at that time. But uh, okay. I that saw that announcement, however, and I appreciate your response, but that does not answer the question. The question again is, why was it not live streamed? What, what, what reason? I guess I'm misunderstanding. Due to the level of sensitivity uh, that was happening in that discussion um, is the reason why it was chose not to be live streamed. 
the, the, the level of sensitivity of the discussion is the reason. What in that discussion was so sensitive that it could not be live stream? Um, I, I don't have a specific answer for you on, on, on that. Okay, can you perhaps yeah, put him on high, take him off the, open the bag now. And I'm sorry, Mr. Mr. Williams, you, you came off mute. We, I couldn't hear Mr. Johnson, I'm sorry. Okay, can you again perhaps facilitate getting an explanation? Yes, I received your, um, I, I was actually working to see if I can get that answer for you. I received your Let's Talk um, dialogue in regards to that. Okay, thank you for okay. receiving it and I look forward to getting your response. Yes, sir. Um, okay, I Renard. Mr. Johnson next, and I, I saw Dion's, but it yeah, looks like her hand went back down. But Raynard yeah, Johnson. I, I, is she still? I think something happened because I don't see her on the call. Okay, if she comes back in, I'll let her in. But Raynard Johnson is up next. Yes, yes. Okay, Mr. thank you, Mr. Glass. Mr. Glass. He stepped to the. He stepped out for a second. I, is there something I can say? She with Mr. Johnson. It's Mr. It's, Glass. Can you hear me? There is Mr. Gaither, is Pierre. I'm sorry, Mr. Gaither. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mr. Gaither, who's responsible for um, your website? Who's, who, who's responsible for that? The board's website, um, the, the direct page of it? And its contents. No, I'm saying, are you asking for like the entire APS or specific, the board? Specifically, page? the Atlanta Board of Education. I am website who's responsible for its maintenance i am are you also do you have any any action with the administration for the maintenance of it I, I, yes so does the administration maintains it or do your office maintain it i maintain i'm responsible for maintaining the board's website you're responsible for the content in the board's website, correct, Pierre? Yes. Yeah. Is, does but that your help? office is not responsible for the maintenance of it, correct? Uh, maybe I need you to provide a more in-depth explanation for me. I guess I'm confused. When, when you're saying the content that is going on the site and the information is managed by the board office, so I'm responsible for that. Is that what you're saying? The content, I guess, to Michelle's the question? Content, the content would be the text of it. The con Who's responsible for the maintenance of it, though? You're talking about bring the it IT support? The IT, yeah, bringing it up and down. Who's responsible for that? Um, I would say we work with IT as it relates to that. On the administration side? Yes. OK. That's what I need to know. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Uh, any other comments or feedback? Any other questions? All right. Well, y'all made this uh, real easy for me today. <laughs> uh, I, I do want to uh, leave you with uh, one final thought. Um, and I will be preparing for all of this. I am planning on running for a third and final term. Um, uh, and uh, I will be uh, updating my website and starting uh, my cam campaign shortly. Um, and uh, I, I you know, look forward to engaging with y'all and, um, and listening to what your concerns are and um, how you wanna see um, not just District Three, but APS overall move forward uh, in supporting all our all our kids. Um, I've enjoyed the past five years. I will say this past year has been um, it was it's been a lot, um, but we've gotten through it and we're wrapping it up. And I'm excited um, to see all these summer activities that we've got going on and working with the city um, on uh, using uh, some of the city sites for some fun events too. Um, so, uh, if you need summer information, you know, we've got like Xanadu, we've got, you know, we're going to do the summer program again where, um, kids can sign up and they get extra enrichment in, uh, ELA and math. 
Um, there's all, you know, there's Horizons got uh, a program. There are all kinds of fun. Odyssey has a program. There are all kinds of fun programs across the city. Um, if you feel like you need some help finding one, just uh, reach out and uh, we'll, we'll get you some information. Um, I will try my best to have one more meeting in May. Um, I will say the week of graduation um, <laughs> is, is going to be crazy. It's a, we definitely have um, uh, board members, I would say the majority of the board tries to go to all the graduations uh, as our schedules permit. Um, and so uh, it, it, it's a really, really busy week. So maybe the Friday before we kick into graduation, uh, we can have another Zoom. I'll take a look at the calendar and I'll keep you posted. And I apologize that I did not uh, link uh, my community meeting onto my Facebook. I, I, I just had a really interesting week. So um, sometimes those things happen. Um, but I'm glad that y'all join and I hope everybody knows that they can register with the board office to get the notifications about when meetings are, not just community meetings, but all our meetings, um, because the board office uh, sends out a notice um, to tell you like when we have accountability, when we have budget, when we have um, all of our audit, you know, um, all of our smaller committees, as well as the monthly meeting. Um, and uh, as long as they work on the Zoom part, you can Zoom or you can come hang out with us in person. Um, so uh, I will continue this on Zoom. I think it's been um, a, a very productive platform um, and, and I get a lot of participation and I really appreciate um, everyone from across the district feeling comfortable to join in and, um, and of course uh, everyone in District 3. Um, Reynard, one more question. Yes, thank you very much for acknowledging me, board member Alephinatis. Just an FYI, I recently I saw on Channel 2, since this is prom season, there is an organization, I believe, in College Park that's offering uh, free prom dresses to those individuals who may not be able to afford them. Well, that's so I, good to I, know. I do not know if, if APS, if the, if the Atlanta School Board, or the administration is partnered with any nonprofits, but there is there are nonprofits around that are offering free prom dresses for those, as well as I, best, I believe suits for individuals who may not be able to afford them to go to proms. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll share this with you too. Um, years ago, this was when I, I was a, a young parent, um, I, I gave a bunch of dresses up to North Atlanta for them to use for kids who needed um, who needed dresses to go to prom. And I know that we have Grady Cares in the Midtown cluster. I know that there's support in the Jackson cluster as well. Um, I, to your point, it'll be interesting to see how how it all goes across the district um, with respect to how kids can get dresses, but I do, we do have resources. I, I certainly don't want to say that they're not resources out there. Um, I'm just more familiar with, uh, for lack of a better term, my neck of the woods, so to speak, but there, there are plenty, I think there are plenty of organizations that, um, that, that want to support and help all kids have a, a good time at prom. It's, it's, it's a fun time of year. Well, the information, thank you very much for that, um, board member Lepinatis. There on channel two, Action News at 12, they featured a person today that was offering free prom dresses. Okay. A person I'll take a look. out of, I believe, South Fulton County, College Park, rather. Yeah. You, you For anyone who College needed Park. free prom dresses in the metro area. When they said okay. metro, I thought of Atlanta Public Schools. Of course. Okay. Thank you for sharing that. Um, any other comments? I'm just trying to check and see the chat. It looks like everything's good. All right. Well, I really appreciate y'all. And um, I hope, like I said, y'all have a great weekend. And if you get a chance to go down to the parade, I think uh, it'll, it'll be, especially if you got kids, I mean, it'd be lots of fun with the kids to see the parade. I haven't, um, uh, so, uh, and then we'll just keep on seeing what, what we're going to do with this 150th anniversary. And then that we, uh, we were told by the administration that we would have a, a full year of different, um, events to help commemorate, um, the school district in its history. Um, 
And I'm excited to share with y'all that the, the Southerner, I don't know if y'all get the Southerner out of Midtown or not, but um, the Southerner is going to do a, an article about the 150th anniversary. So I look forward to, to reading that article and, um, and they're working with the board office to go down in the archives because um, there's so many significant people who have graduated out of APS and have led, uh, who've done un unbelievable things, uh, you know, and uh, internationally, nationally, in the state and, and locally here in Atlanta that need to be recognized. So I look forward to um, seeing what this young man is going to be able to put together. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I, again, I always, I think, I don't. I think everybody on this call has my number, um, but um, I'll stick it in the chat if you don't. And um, please feel free to reach out anytime. Um, uh, and uh, if anything comes up that we think uh, needs to be addressed before the end of the school year, please let me know. Or if there's things that you see coming up for the next school year that we need to start um, having conversations about, I know, especially with um, the new elementary school coming on board, that's in, in Morningside going back to its building, that's going to be a bit of a transition. And, um, and then Tumor, as y'all know, is going to be um, moving to the Cone building while they get a, a renovation and an HVAC um, upgrade, I guess is what you would call that. And so we, we've got some we've got some movement going on in District Three, and so we'll see how that goes. And um, I, 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 there is one more thing I want to make sure that y'all know. I just wanted to make sure, and I think all of y'all know because all of you are very well informed. The district decided not to move forward with the with any rezoning for the 2024 school year, and I know that that's had. Um, for some folks, a positive impact, and for other folks, a, a, a negative impact. And um, and so, I really appreciate hearing everyone's feedback from that. And then, um, and then I, I um, want to follow up with the administration about where that work is going to go, um, because we do we definitely have um, capacity issues in a couple of our clusters, and we have um, and we have clusters that have capacity that are close by to us. So I think that that conversation needs to continue. Um, and then we're we're coming in on the budget cycle. So uh, the budget will, um, they, they're gonna do their public noticing for a budget and we'll move forward with that. And then so if you have, excuse me, any public comment on that, please feel free to um, let me know or send us, you know, send, um, you can do a let's talk. I know that that's how here likes to run things now. You can do a let's talk and it just so that it, it falls in a bucket, if that makes sense. So they know how to get it to the appropriate um, uh, department to get it addressed. Oh, are you cheering me on? I see you. <laughs> um, and Peter does, I will say this, he's really great because he does provide us with like a um, it's not that often. I think it's like quarterly. He provides us with a, 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 a an update on uh, on who gets let's talk, and uh, I tend to lead the race. So uh, I appreciate y'all feeling free to use let's talk and and uh, and reach out uh, so that Pierre and myself and um, in the administration can see what's going on. Um, and again, if there's anything that I can do uh, before the end of school, into graduation, into the summer, getting ready for the next school year, please just let me know. Congratulations on your graduating senior. Oh, thank you. Okay, so can I just share something with y'all? So Ken, I ran into Ken at the coffee shop. That wasn't that long ago, was it? It wasn't, but it was before we found out what was going on with Nick. And um, we were just catching up because our kids, so his eldest and my second are both seniors over at Midtown. And then, um, so 
Sarah's in, she's in 10th grade, right? And then Jonah's going to come up next year. He's behind Katie. Okay, yeah. So our kids are relatively close in age. Um, so we run into each other at the coffee shop. And he says to me, I was like, you know, how are the kids doing? And, you know, we caught up for a second. And he told me that uh, Audrey, his senior, is going to be attending a tech on Zell. And I was like, oh, congratulations. I mean, like, that's really unbelievable news. And, and so he says to me, he goes, well, what about Nick? And I was like, well, you know, we're still waiting to hear from some schools <laughs> and he hasn't made a decision. And then I run into Ken again, somewhere in the neighborhood. I don't remember where I saw you. Was it was at Elon's the next time, was it? I don't remember, but we ran into each other. We live right down the street from one another. We ran into each other again, uh, somewhere in the neighborhood. And I saw him and I said, I go, I just wanted to let you know, Nick got into tech too, and he's a Zell too. So uh, really excited for the kids. And um, a big shout out to Midtown. Um, uh, Zach Spangler, who's another student there, he told me that um, 12 kids out of Midtown's high school class got into tech and seven have committed so far. At least that's the last time that I spoke with him. Um, seven have committed. So I, I have to say that's really impressive work. And I spoke with a friend of mine whose daughter is going to tech too on Zale but she's out of Jackson and Jackson has a handful of kids too that got in and are, and are planning on going. So I just really think that that just really speaks volumes to the work that's being done in the district. Well, congratulations to you both. All right, I think we're good. Everybody good? Leave it behind. Right. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Y'all have a great weekend and we'll catch up soon. Thanks, Jeff.